Hello folks, today we're going to learn how to program the ICON ICA24. Uh, to start off, I'm going to tell you a little bit about banks. The MO here means it's in bank zero. There are 10 banks, and each bank there are 20 channels by the larger one indicated right here. So it's uh, zero, this is bank zero, channel one. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to program these, these, uh, um, frequencies into bank 3. So to start off we're going to hit the F key and go to bank 3. So we hit F, bank, and we use the knob to go to 3. So there we have 3. And again I'll just cursor all the way up. You can see we go from 0 to 9 and we start again. So we'll go to bank 3, we'll hit the enter key, and you can see that it went to bank M3 for bank 3. And this is channel 1. So we're going to start off by putting ATIS into channel 1. And to do that, we're going to hit the clear button to get out of the memory mode. When we hit the clear button, the memory d disappears, so we know we're out of memory mode. At this point, we could turn the dial to, to a new setting to manually tune, or we could punch in our numbers, like we'll, we'll take our first number, the ATIS, 1, 2, 5, 175, and notice the, the 5 opt in automatically because it moves in 25 kilohertz uh, ranges and it knew, it assumed what the last was. So it, it knew that, and now we're going to go ahead and we're going to put, put that into channel 1. So we hit F, M, R, M, W, and then we hit enter for channel 1 there. And that double ding means it took. So now if I, if I verify, well, let's go ahead and just enter the clearance, the next one. So let's go 120 and 2, and then I could hit the enter to add the, the zeros. We'll go ahead and put that in channel 2 now. So we hit F, M, R, and let's see, do I hit 2 like that? Yeah, I hit 2 like that, and I hit enter. So now... If I hit MR, I should be able to scroll between these. Uh, I can go up here and do my dial and, and turn it. There's 125.175, the first one I entered, and 2, the second one I entered. If I keep turning, it'll, it'll just go keep scrolling right through them. So that took the first two spots up in that uh, bank list of tw uh, in, in this area of 20 we have, uh, we have here. So let's go ahead and put uh, the next uh, channel in this bank, and that's going to be 121.8. So we'll go ahead and enter that. And that is, again, we'll, we'll go clear to get out of memory mode. We'll go 1, 2, 1, 8, and we'll hit Enter. We'll hit the F button. We'll hit the Memory button. And we'll go to uh, channel 3, hit Enter. Good. Now let's go ahead and go ahead and put the tower in. One, three, three, one. Enter. F, M, R, and go to channel four. Hit enter. Do approach and departure. One, two, four, six, five, and again it assumes the zero. F. MR, go to channel 5, hit enter, and last but not least, 1, 2, 2, 6, enter, F, MR, go to channel 6, enter, go to memory to make sure they're there, we're still in uh, bank 3, Six locations, see what memory location 125 it matches. Channel 1 to ATIS there. Channel 2, 120.2. Channel 3, 121.8. Channel 4 is our is our uh, tower. Channel 5, our approach departure. And channel 6 is our flight service. So there you have it. That's how to program the uh, icon. I see a twenty-four, um, and again, each each bank each each uh, bank has twenty channels. 
So that's six of the choni that you can put in this bank. Uh, in the next one, I will teach you how to uh, name each one of these if you want a naming convention instead.